Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 2, uh, Vector Mechanics by Bear and Johnston. And the problem says that two cables are tied together at C and are loaded as shown. Determine the tension in cable AC and in cable BC. So this these two cables, cable BC and cable AC, keeps this block in equilibrium, uh, keeps this block in stationary condition, right? So as we can see that at point C, uh, there are three tensions, there are three forces like this. And this point C is in equilibrium. So now remember that whenever a particular point is acted upon by three forces and that particular uh, point or a particle or a body is in equilibrium then these three forces must make a close triangle since when a body is in equilibrium the resultant force is equals to zero so the sum of all the forces must be equals to zero and by head to tail rule um, if 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 the forces make a parallelogram a close parallelogram or a close triangle then we can say that the resultant is zero so now let's say if we have um, the tension BC and the tension AC and the weight of the block that will act that will be acting downwards. So now if we somehow arrange these three forces in such a way, let's say this will be T the tension in BC rope and let's say this is the tension in AC rope and this will be the weight of the block. So they make a closed triangle and and the the head of the last vector coincides with the tail of the first vector so we cannot draw the uh, resultant so this means that when when such uh, happens then the resultant is zero and the body is in equilibrium so now from 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 this uh, from these arguments we can say that if this point c is in equilibrium then these three forces must make a closed triangle. So we will arrange these three tensions in such a way so that they make a closed triangle by head to tail root. So there will be such two arrangements. There will be two such arrangements that will that will enable us to make a closed triangle. So before going into that discussion, I'm going to find the angle of these uh, tensions with the horizontal. So now let's say if this is my tension in BC rope, let's say, that must be acting somewhat like this. And l let me cut these ropes, since in the free body diagrams we will have, um, we need to cut these ropes in order to draw the free body diagram. So this will be our TBC. This is our TBC and here we will have tension in AC rope. So so this is my TAC. And we need to cut this this rope as well. So let me cut it. Or we need to remove this weight, right? So the the weight of the block is supported by this particular uh, rope or cable we can say so we can draw it this will be our weight of the block so the weight of the block will be 1600 kgs into 9.81 and this will be in newtons now uh, first of all we, we need to find the angle of this TBC with the horizontal and the angle of this TAC with the horizontal and the information of those angles are given in the shape of uh, these dimensions. So let's say this is my horizontal line. And now as we can see that if, if I draw a right angle triangle here like this, so we are going to find this angle. And this length is 400 and this length is 960. So let's say if this is angle theta, let's say, let's say if this is angle alpha, let's say, so we can find angle alpha using those dimensions and so let me draw that uh, right angle triangle here so this length is 400 mm and this length is 960 mm and this is angle alpha 
So now the alpha angle will be 10 alpha and the perpendicular is this and the, the base is this. So 10 alpha is perpendicular divided by base and alpha will be equal to 10 inverse of that ratio divided by 400. So this gives us the angle alpha equals to 67.38. So alpha angle is 67.38 degrees. And let's say that this angle is beta, this TAC rope is making angle beta with the horizontal. So then again, we can use um, this right angle triangle like this. And the 10 beta will be uh, this, this perpendicular divided by base. So we can say that 10 beta is perpendicular is now 960 and the base is 1100. If we consider this right angle triangle, then this is the perpendicular and this is the base and the length of this base is 1100. So the beta will be 10 inverse 960 divided by 1100. So this gives me angle beta equals to 41.11 degrees. So now we know the angle alpha and beta, the angles of tension in rope BC and the tension in rope AC. So now is, as I have discussed in the start of this video that, uh, that if this point C is in equilibrium, these three forces must be arranged in such a way that they will make a closed triangle. So now we need to make a closed triangle. So let's say this is my TBC. And let me write this is TBC and this is TAC. And this will be the weight that must be that must join the tail of TBC. So this is the weight and which is equal to 1600 times 9.81 Newton. Now we know that this TBC is making angle alpha with the horizontal and that angle alpha is 67.38 degrees. And now we know that this TAC is making angle beta with the horizontal, which is 41.11 degrees. Now, as we know that if this angle is 67.38, this angle is also 61.38 since this line is, uh, this line and this line both are horizontal and they are parallel to each other. So if this happens, then this angle and this angle, both of these angles are alternate angles. So we can say that this angle is also uh, 67.38. Similarly, um, since this uh, weight is vertical, then they, this is 90 degrees and then this angle will be 90 minus this angle. And similarly, if I draw a vertical line here at this particular point, let's say if we draw a vertical line here, then this angle will be 90 minus this. So, and this line and this line both are parallel. So if this is 90 minus this, then this is 90 minus this as well. So this angle and this angle both are alternate angle as well and they are equal as well. So now first let's find this angle. This angle will be 90 minus this. So 90 minus 67.38. This gives me 22.62. So this angle is 22.62. And let, let me find the sum of both of these angles. This will be uh, 67.38 plus 41.11. This is 108. This angle is 108.49 degrees. And similarly, this angle will, the, this angle theta, let's say this is angle theta. This angle theta can also be determined by finding the sum of, uh, by equating the sum of these three angles equal to 180 degree. As we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So if so, if we add, if we write that this is 22.62 plus 108.49 plus theta, this will be equal to 180 degrees. So let me write that 22.62 plus 108.49 plus theta is equal to 180 degrees. So now we can find theta by subtracting those two angles from 180 degrees. So this will be 180 minus 22.62 
minus 108.49 and theta is equal to 48.89 now we know this angle theta so this angle theta is 48.89 this angle theta can also be determined by subtracting this angle from 90 degrees since this angle and this angle both are alternate angles so now again if i subtract uh 41.11 from 90 degrees 90 minus 41.11 so that will give us 48.89 so theta angle is 48.89 let me write that this angle is now we know the weight we are required to find tbc and tac there is one another arrangement uh, uh, or we can say that uh, we can arrange these three forces in one uh, another way to have a closed triangle so let's look into that arrangement as well so again if let's say this is my um tbc let's say this is my tbc and this is my weight let's see so tbc this is the weight and then this TAC must be from here to here so this is the TAC so this is one another arrangement right so again we can we can uh, find all those angles but I will not go into this uh, figure so we will focus on this so there will always be two such arrangements that will that will uh, enable us to have a closed triangle so now once we have this uh, diagram we can apply the law of sines to find the unknowns now we, we are required to find the tension in cable ac so again if i write that tac divided by the sine of the opposite angle so the opposite angle to tac is this 22.62 so divided by the sine of 22.62 equals to tbc divided by the sine of the opposite angle so t this is tbc and the opposite angle is 48.89 so sine of 48.89 similarly this will be equal to the weight which is 1600 into 9.81 divided by the sine of the opposite angle so the opposite angle to the weight is 108.49 so 108.49 degrees now these are two equations one equa uh, these are three equations basically this is one this is two and then this and this this is three so now i will compare this side with this and then this with this so now we can say that tac divided by sine of 22.62 equals to the weight divided by sine of 108.49 and similarly we can compare these two as well so now by multiplying both sides of the equation by sine of 22.62 this will cancel out and we will have tac equals to 1600 into 9.81 into sine of 22.62 divided by sine of 108.49 degrees so this is 1600 into 9.81 into sine of 22.62 divided by sine of 108.49 so the tension in rope ac is 6365.55 or we can say that this is approximately 6.47 kilo newton and similarly um, using these two equations we can say that tbc will be equal to 1600 into 9.81 into sine of 48.89 divided by this so now tbc will be equal to 1600 into 9.81 into sine of 48.89 divided by sine of 108.49 this gives me 12,469 69.8 so 12,000 TBC 12,469 point 
eight four newton or we can say that tbc is 12.5 kilonewton so now the tension in rope ec is 6.47 kilonewton and the tension in rope bc is 12.5 kilonewton so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston